Hello everyone. I've been working on this project for over a year now. Since the last time I discovered about uh, mobile phone radiation, I had uh, imported a few anti-radiation stickers. Some of you might be knowing them because uh, we gave them out for free like two months ago. So what is exactly mobile radiation? Uh, we all know and we might have heard of it, uh, don't keep mobile phones in your uh, pocket shirt pockets or don't keep them in your trousers you gotta get this effect and that effect but no one actually takes care as to what uh, it's going on here uh, I I'm a frequent user of mobile phones I use uh, my mobile approximately 17 hours a day uh, from the time I wake up until the time I sleep I am constantly with my phone because my work involves being on the phone every now and then so I used to get frequent headaches and uh, my mobile used to heat up a lot some of you might be experiencing these symptoms so you can see here these are the common sources of radiation and uh, mobile phones are somewhere here you can see that next to microwaves so we've got these antennas telephones what's that camera and then a tv a mobile phone routers and then the sun so when i used to get these headaches i used to try getting painkillers almost every day okay but we don't we didn't need to know what's the cause of what was the cause of these headaches so once I did some research about why my phone is heating up and what's causing the headaches and whatever I got to know that this there's a possibility of cell phone radiation it might be affecting me and true to its cause it does affect me I imported the stickers I gave them out to my friends I started selling them in our retail outlet and many people reported that their battery life for the phone increased because of uh, radiation had reduced by 97% and the phone is no longer heating up so we can see how the phone is affecting the brain and uh, yeah let's, let's look at it here so this is a five years old brain we have been told whenever you give a phone or a tablet to a child always keep it on airplane mode there is a reason the airplane mode is there it doesn't mean that whenever you whenever you travel on an airplane that's when you keep the airplane mode no whenever you are not using the network Whenever you're not using the phone for calling or internet, keep it on airplane mode. It's safer for you. This is why. See this? Now there's something known as absorption rate, SAR. Okay. You can find out, find this out uh, by dialing star hash 07 hash on your mobile phone. Okay. Star hash 07 hash, you dial that, you're gonna see there's something known as absorption rate. The minimum, minimum, for a mobile phone is 1.6 watts per kilo now you can see when you put it near our, mob, uh, our ear and as it's as the radiations are going into the skull this is the absorption rate going on 4.49 okay for a five years old for a 10 years old kid the radiation reaches here and for an adult this side so whenever you're talking a lot on uh, on one side you're gonna notice migraines you're gonna notice headaches we don't know the reason for that many people just ignore them but it's actually very serious very very serious so uh, following are some videos on what mobile radiation is and what it can do I request you to please 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 watch them watch the whole thing and we are soon about to release a product that we might we might give out for free because since it's something to do with health so we request you to please share this video and create awareness for now what you can do is try as much as possible to limit usage for your kids because the main thing kids are affected a lot so the kids brains are very uh, young and they're very fresh and uh, the skull is also not developed uh, fully so the penetration is higher uh, what I'm talking about right now you're gonna see in the next videos where a scientific research has been done by professors in university and uh, you're gonna see with proper MRI scans what's happening to a child's brain when uh, radiation hits them. iPads and other devices are called tablets because they belong on tables. They are tested 20 centimeters away from that big guy that I showed you before. 20 centimeters away, they are not approved to be held in the laps of little children. Although millions of kids are having them now in schools because the people involved in educational technology and those involved in public health research 
are not talking to one another. Because if they were, they would understand that you're giving children a two-way microwave radiating device, and if you must give them such a device for learning purposes, put it on airplane mode so that it's not sending and receiving signals as it does otherwise. Now this is some new modeling, again, that we've developed with colleagues in Brazil, and we can share with you how we've done it. It's, we first start out with the MRI and create the model with one millimeter voxels, and this is quite a bit of work goes into creating this, and here is what it looks like after a period of six minutes. And that's really not as bad as it might look because you see the red area only gets partway through the eye of the adult, right? The one that we're really concerned about is this one with the young child. And this is a three-year-old brain that we modeled. And you see that by the end of that six-minute call, uh, the peak radiation, yellow and red, is, is, is getting all the way into almost both eyes. And again, this is one call, and it's not going to kill anybody. It may not cause any biological effect whatsoever for one call or two calls or three calls. But the question is, what's the cumulative impact of this kind of exposure? How do we evaluate it? And I want to show you an example of some of the work that we are doing now that I'm releasing here for the first time. And this is a modeled microwave radiation dose of a six-year-old with greater levels to the frontal and temporal lobes, eyes and cheek. And watch this here. Now, yellow, white, and red are the hottest, all right? And if you look carefully, you will see it's going into the eye, the nose. Do it again, just so you'll get to see it. And partly into the brain stem. Now, that's just showing you that there's going to be some exposure into that area of a young head. It doesn't tell you that there's any biological effect, right? Now, the next slide is going to show you something that might be of interest to students and faculty here, and that has to do with exposure to the reproductive organs. We call them the gonads. I think you say the testicles and bone marrow. And look here at the radiation as it gets into the groin area. And that's just from having a mobile phone modeled into the pocket. And this, again, is based on a normalized SAR with a, I think we had a, a dipole antenna. Now, the breast. The breast is mostly fat, contains a lot of fluid. Things that contain flat and fluid cook faster in the microwave oven. Now, a cell phone can't cook anything, all right? Mobile phones do not pop popcorn. That was a fraud. They don't make any heat that we know of, otherwise they wouldn't be permitted. But they do go through things that contain fat and fluid. And we are now working at Environmental Health Trust with scientists at the University of California, San Francisco, uh, scientists uh, at formerly the president of the American Cancer Society of California, because we are seeing women who keep cell phones in their bras. Has anyone seen a woman put a cell phone in her bra? Hands up, please. Please tell them you've heard now why they shouldn't do that. And here I want to show you our first case report from 2009, and we now have many more. This was a Chinese-American woman, a Chinese-American woman, who used her cell phone four hours a day in her bra for 10 years while she was driving. Now, and you drive with a, with a phone on your body. The phone is smart. It's going to go from one tower to another, and it's going to say, here I am, where are you, here I am. And it's going to be going to max power each time it moves from one cell tower to another. And there it was right next to her chest. And the tumors that developed, developed right under the antenna of the phone. Unusual tumors. But in the meantime, people have a right to know how you can minimize exposure. And again, I think this information is available on our website, will be available on yours. Remember, if you have to give a phone to a child, put it on airplane mode. And think about this. That microwave oven, it works because there's a metal box around a microwave signal. 
and the signal pings all over the place. Next time you get into an elevator or a train for any length of time, put your phone on airplane mode. Otherwise, that signal is going all over the place, magnifying and coming back. Keep the mobile phone away from you when it's on and you are asleep. Now, it takes a village to do a lot of things. These are some of the people whose materials I've used today with their permission. And I can't read this list to you, but I want you to know that I feel really honored to be working with some of the most talented people in the world on this issue. And they have given me permission to share these materials with you. And I leave you with this thought from Albert Einstein. The world is not dangerous because of those who do harm, but because of those who look at it without doing anything. So, thank you. I'm telling you, it's work. Work. Good. Just put these things in here a little bit closer, I think, and work right. a little better. All right? Whatever. We'll call it up. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm calling. You ready? I'm calling. I bet, I bet you 10 bucks it works. Yeah, 20 bucks, it's not working. Make it 50. Oh. <laughs> a, grant, a grant, it works. No, no. Are you on? No, 20. 20. 20. Okay, 20. 20. It's not working. It's gonna work. Give no. it a second. Here it goes. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, no! Oh, right. Right. That's crazy. Oh, oh that's too much. Uh, I told you. No way! Yes! Yeah. Yeah. Voilà, comme ça. Oui. Il est là, ça. Il est une porte il vient. Un... Tu sais, tu dors, je te dis déjà. Tac, ça va. Tac, bien comme un. Voilà. Bon. Vas-y. Vas-y, 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 vas-y. Oh, j'adore Okay guys, I'd like to show you what uh, the anti-radiation sticker does. That right there is a radio frequency meter. It measures the radio frequency and the microwave radiation that comes out from mobile phones. 
as you can see the reading changes automatically when you place the sticker over there and once you remove the sticker the reading goes up so the sticker has some nanotechnology that helps in reducing the radiation that come out from here is the one with the laptop see how it works it reduces removes the radiation totally by 97 percent almost to zero so it's very safe for us to be putting these stickers around our uh, laptops mobile phones microwaves whatever you think that's producing radiation you better put this sticker there let's go for another test and usually the radiation is high when you get a call as you can see right in here uh, it's going to make a call to another mobile uh, forgive me for the music so as you can see the radiation is at 1700 megawatts sorry it's uh, uh, what is it? watts per kilogram let me just reduce the volume when you place the stickers near the phone say the radiation is reduced that's during a call the radiation is still there but reduced to around 50 during a call but when there's no call it can reduce up to zero so that's that